What's up YouTube? How goes it? I am super excited for today's video because we are doing a sound comparison between two very recently released products. On one side, we have Apple's new HomePod Mini, which starts at $99 USD. This little guy supposedly packs a punch. We're gonna find out today. On the other side, we have Amazon's newly refreshed fourth generation Echo. This little guy is a little bit bigger than this little guy and also supposedly packs a punch. So in this sound test, we're just gonna play audio one on one, see which one of these guys produces better audio, where they excel, where they don't, and you guys get to be the judge. Of course, after it's all over, I will provide my input. If you wanna stick around for that, that'll be at the end of the video. As always guys, if you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Let's get on with the sound test.
that's awesome. That means you guys definitely saw the entire sound comparison. And I'm glad. So let's be honest. I have to say, after having a detailed listen to both of these guys, the Echo definitely takes the win overall. Hear me out. The HomePod Mini does a few things that are great. For beginners, it has practically no distortion whatsoever at any given volume level. And you may have picked that up during the sound test. So for example, if you're playing a rock type song or a pop song and you have those high pitches, you won't get any distortion or static noise coming from the HomePod Mini. And that's pretty impressive. And I think that has to do with the computation audio and how it's consistently adjusting its speakers for the optimal sound. But beyond that, the HomePod Mini really just doesn't have the same shining star look its bigger brother, the HomePod did. What I mean is that the 360 audio often feels underwhelming. Even if you have it in a bedroom, I find that the sound just isn't as filling as let's say the Echoes is. Coming to the Echo on the other side, starting off with the 360 audio, I have to say I was just impressed with just how much power this guy packs. It has a louder volume level to begin with, but not just that. Thanks to that 3 inch woofer that they've included, which is not included on the HomePod Mini, you get much deeper bass and that makes a lot of difference. Say what you will, but Apple cheaped out a little bit. Yes, you have a smaller design, but they put two passive radiators and not even really high end passive radiators in my opinion. The bass is decent. I've heard other products that have passive radiators for slightly better bass. Of course, having a 3 inch woofer, like I said, makes all the difference, but not just that. It's not only louder, it's more filling, it's more even. I just feel like the HomePod mini could have been so much more, but Apple opted to actually go for a very small look and they compromised a little bit too much. And if we're talking about features and functionality, Amazon's Alexa is a far more capable system so far than Siri is. And that's obviously known because of all the compatible devices and functionality that comes with Alexa. But it's not just that. Taking it a level beyond, I also have to say that because both these devices are priced evenly, I'm being equally critical of them. So starting at $99 USD, or $99 USD for the Echo, you're paying the exact same money. And even the Nest speakers start at $99 USD. So when you take that into account as to what Apple's charging and what they're offering, the Echo is just simply a better value. Whereas the HomePod has, or the HomePod mini, has a few things that stand out about it. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video. Until next time, Souls Tech, logging out.